Hello, thank you so much for that amazing intro. I'm super impressed. Um, I basically, yes, my name is Amy Hallman. Yes, I founded EcoBlend Consulting very recently, but that's not really what I want to focus my talk on today. I literally brought quotes snatched from my personal bathroom mirror because I wanted to share that journey with you. Recently, I made a huge life change and embarked upon a new adventure, a lot like you guys just did. And so if anything that has helped pull me through this journey of my own can inspire or even facilitate your own journey to make it easier and clearer, then I've done what I came here to do. And so I'm really glad about that. So what I want to tell you is that very recently, this summer, I actually decided to leave my position as president of a cure. This has been an amazing experience for me. The past six years has exposed me to so many things I never expected, uh, learnings and all the ways that I can impact my community and the world around me and make healthy products for everyone they might actually like. So an incredible adventure, a lot like the 30 day challenge you just went through. But I found myself in my role um, sort of in a place where I felt that I had truly taken it as far as I was meant to take it and I was ready to accept a new challenge. So knowing that, um, I chose to jump. So with a lot of emotion, I left the company this summer and promptly fell into a complete pit of confusion. So from there, um, I had a great friend named Judy. We happened to be gratefully talking every day at that point, and she said something that really was so profound. She said to me, when you find yourself stripped of a title, you can feel pretty knocked down. And at that point, this big old fat light bulb above my head went on bright, and I was like, you're so right. I didn't even realize that all the passion and all my commitment and everything I'd invested my whole life into over the past six years, gladly, was actually kind of what I defined as my identity and my value and my sense of worth in the world. And the truth is, is when that's taken away and you're just Amy standing out there in the cold by yourself, you realize, wow, I don't guess I really know what I really want. I don't know if I have the chops to make great change in the world. What do I do next? And I want just a quick show of hands, especially from the speakers and the professionals in the room, but everyone. Have you had those moments, even recently? Yeah, that's pretty much everyone in the room. So you are not alone in that. And I have to tell you that I've realized that this is a very human journey. We live in a society and a culture and even an, an educational institution that really kind of teaches us to connect a lot of value and self-worth to the titles we achieve, the things that we put on our transcripts, the exams that we pass, um, the salary we make, all of these amazingly important things, they have value and purpose, but the truth is they don't define who you are as a person. There comes a time when you have to stand up and really ask yourself, what inspires me? What do I want? So how did I get out of this pit? that I talk about. Well, the truth is, I found this quote that said, even if we want more extreme changes, the way to begin is to get off the road for long enough to catch our breath and remember who we are and what we truly want. Once we do, we can take the wheel with confidence, driving the speed we want to go in the direction that's right for us. For me, that meant I had to get out of my own head and literally get out of the country. I decided to take the opportunity to cash in a ticket and go explore my roots. I'm Danish, so I went straight to Scandinavia and checked out Denmark for a couple of weeks. But I went there without any expectation. I went there just wanting to catch my breath for a second and find some joy and maybe some inspiration and just, you know, walk around for a while. And what I found was an inspiring culture that was completely unlike my day to day. I found a culture of people that above all else, they cherished nurturing the self. They cherished nurturing your home and your relationships, time with family, um, being very present 
and your environment and caring about others around you. You know, work and accomplishments and income, that's there, but it's all a side effect and it comes with it naturally. First and foremost, it was about nurturing your presence in the world. That's a beautiful way to be in a culture. And it's so connected to me as a person. It made me realize that that's, that's a lot about who I am. Gratefully, I am a born nurturer. From the day I was born, it kind of pushed everything I ever was inspired to do, pursue, grow, create. Um, but to see it in a culture where it created such an impact and a positive environment really set me on fire. It really lit me up. But the other side of it is it also showed me how important it was to nurture yourself before you could ever nurture effective change in the world. So this quote meant a lot to me. Your vision will be clear only when you look into your heart. Who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakens. So a really impactful to way, way to really connect to the things that really were important to me and the result and the impact it can make in the world around me. So it made me really reflect. All of a sudden, I started to really honor and appreciate all the crazy choices that I made in my career path that seemed to go in all different directions to much of the dismay of my family and friends who thought I was just a wackadoo half the time. Because they saw one path. They saw one way to do something. And there was a lot of shoulds and shouldn'ts and all this structure around it. But the truth is, I've always made my choices based on what inspired me and what gave me passion. And for some reason, somewhere, I was the oddball in my family that had the guts to believe in it. And so I'm really grateful that I did that because it really gave me a lot of experiences I never would expect it, and I defined my journey on my own terms, which is really hard to do, is it not? So the next quote that I loved was, in the whole of your existence, no force you will ever encounter will contribute as much to your ability to do what you need to do and be who you want to be as your own natural wisdom. If you heed the wisdom with conviction and confidence, the patterns, people, and fears that held you back will be dismantled, paving the way for you to fulfill your truest potential. There are a million ways to do something right. You get to define the one that works the best for you, always. So. Knowing that, I started to look at my career path until now, and I thought, wow, a lot of people didn't understand it, but what I see is that it's given me the experiences and the knowledge of almost every angle of industry. That's a great thing to take into a next job experience. The other thing is that it really gave me a lot of awareness and a very unique skill set that I could apply in so many unique ways, but it helped me really excel at my crafts and really have perspectives and the ability to communicate from a lot of different reference points, which is a critical skill to have in this world. So from there, there was a really inspiring quote from Steve Jobs. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. So this meant a lot to me because seemingly that's what my career looked like. But the truth was, the best example I can give you is back in my aesthetics practice days, I had a thriving practice uh, in Chicago. A lot of repeat business. I'd achieved things in six years that I never thought possible. Um, but I was having an amazing time nurturing people's goals for skin ther therapy and uh, wellness and taking care of themselves, but I wanted to do more. I wanted to learn about nutrition. I wanted to learn about ingredient integrity. What the heck was I putting on these people? I also really wanted to learn about um, holistic healing and herbs and all of these things. So I thought, well, I could stay here and continue to focus on my practice. Maybe I could go to Northwestern and um, I don't know, get a degree in nutritional therapy. But, and that would look great on my resume, that would hold a lot of appearances and accomplishment and have great value, but it wasn't really a program that resonated with my passions and who I was. So I did something kind of kooky. I moved to Portland. <laughs> because I was not going to get at a lifestyle and an exposure living in urban Chicago that I could get if I followed my passion and my interests and moved there. And again, 
my family said, okay, wait. So uh, you're going to move there with no job, <laughs> no clear picture of what you're going to do. And I said, yeah, watch me. So I decided to pick up and move. Like I said, I did not have a picture, didn't have a job lined up, but I knew it was the right thing. I mean, Portland is the mecca of sustainable living. Why not go there? Um, I had family, a place to land. Less than a month, I found a job that was really hard to land at a company called New Seasons. I'm sure you guys know it well. Um, and so again, my family said, so you left a practice to work at a grocery store? What are you doing? What's happening right now? And what they didn't know is that I had found a company that still to this day is a great example of passionate commitment to vendor relationships that are local, local farming, um, building the farm to table movement, creating sustainable practices and education and opportunity. But I was also saturated with over 150 plus supplement vendors in the holistic realm, natural nutrition, um, you name it. And then in addition to that, 80 plus vendors in the body and skin care. And all of these vendors were focused on conscious consumerism, um, ingredient and integrity. And I was acquiring all of that wealth and exposure. At the same time, about nine months into it, a little bitty company called Decure launched their first few products in their first retail store, which was New Seasons. I was introduced to the founder, and literally within two conversations, he offered me the opportunity to come on board and be his VP of product development. So what kind of impact do you think I can make on that level? I could have stayed in Chicago and maybe even made products there to target the Chicago market. But instead, I was given the opportunity to acquire so much more knowledge, bring my aesthetic skills into an opportunity to make products for the nation. Eventually, going from natural channel all the way into mass channel, and eventually internationally. Think about that impact. Those experiences, being present, caring more about the journey than the destination, helped me really acquire the opportunities and the skill sets to grow my impact in the world, to be the bigger change maker that I wanted to be. That's important. My point is this, it's the same way with dancing. You don't aim at a particular spot in the room because that's where you'll arrive. The whole point of dancing is the dance. It's all the being, the singing, not the accomplishments and the titles. It's experiencing the world around you and showing up every day to be present for it. I kid you not, having goals, having things to create a vision and strive for, those are important. I'm not going to say that. They really help propel you through your journey. But I guarantee you, it's all the trials, the successes and wins, and all the failures too. It's all the books you read that inspire you. It's all the people you meet that blow your mind and change your way of thinking. Those are the things that make you a bigger change maker in the world. Those are the things that help you make the kind of impacts around you that you want to make. So be present for them. Because my next quote here is, so going back to my journey. So I'm out of the pit. I'm becoming really fired up and, and acquainted with, reconnected with all the things that make me feel my own sense of value and contribution in the world and the opportunities I can grab. But the truth is, I still have to figure out how I take all that business and plug it into career.com and figure out how that translates in the world. That didn't make any sense to me. But what did is when I looked at all of the things that I've gained to this point that really inspire true passion and joy in what I do. Product development. Taking a concept that I just think would be super fun to share with people. Sourcing ingredients that excite me. Working with a chemist team to bring the formulation to fruition. Writing the copy on the bottle. You know, picking the packaging and seeing it go onto a shelf and someone actually bought it and they liked it. It's magic. It's a magical experience. The idea of taking a brand concept, something that you passionately believe would be of value to the world, and bringing it to fruition, and then, oh, by the way, bringing a team along with you that loves it as much as you do, and you're creating something bigger than you ever thought possible together. That is an honor. What's even more of an honor is when you're able to provide those team members 
with the opportunities to personally evolve and rise to the occasion and meet and achieve things that they never thought possible for themselves. That, if I ever do anything else in my life, that was an amazing way to change things. But lastly, if you're so lucky to actually do well <laughs> and make a little bit of profit, being able to take that money, find things that you believe in, like turning green, things that are really doing great things in the world, all of the passions that you guys want to create, giving a way to support that however we can. Those things mean everything. Those things have shaped who I am as a professional. And those things help me get really close to what I wanted to continue to do in my next step. So the Zen warrior approach became my sort of mantra for every day. Because mind you, at this point, I still didn't have a big fat picture in front of me of what I was going to do next. But I had a lot of inspiration to know it was coming. So every day, I put on my Zen warrior hat, and I dropped my attachment to any particular result. I lived completely in the moment. I was present. And I would give the very best of myself. Every day, even when you have no clue how to proceed, if you just show up, be fully present, and be the best version of yourself, listen. All of a sudden, you can inspire great change in the things around you just by being there. It's just that simple. So with all of this, I finally got somewhere where I created my own quote. This became a vision. All of a sudden, I started to clarify. I make products that nurture the body, community, and positive change in the world. This became a vision that I founded EcoBlend Consulting upon. Because the truth is, I had the amazing opportunity to do this with one brand. But what if I have the, the opportunity to nurture all of these other brands and all of these other concepts that are looking to also create amazing change and impact in the world? I have the skills, I have the passion, and I have the commitment to want to help however I can to bring myself to the table every single day and lend my support. That would be a joy. And I still have no idea what EcoBlend Consulting is going to look like two years down the road, but you best believe I'm going to be there savoring every experience along the way. And when things get really bad, this is the one thing every day. Always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. Every day. So thank you for letting me share my personal little vulnerable journey. But like I said, the point is that any tidbit that I brought today that helped me, if it helps you create the great passion and change that you're, you're becoming acquainted with over this weekend, then I have done my job, and I'm grateful to have been here to talk to you. Um, and I just want to say, not only thank you, but have so much fun this weekend. You have earned a huge coveted spot here, and you're going to do amazing things in the world. So congratulations. <laughs>